In 2003, the keynote, Steve Jobs introduced the original G5 Power Mac, and he compared it against a dual Xeon Dell PC. Well, obviously, we turned to Dell, right? They're the low-cost provider in the PC space, and we configured a system that isn't even as fast as the one that we have here. Now, as you can see, the Mac used dual G5 2 gigahertz processors, and the Dell used dual Xeons at 3 gigahertz. Now, the Xeon was essentially just a beefed up Pentium 4. My G5 is slightly newer, and instead of using dual processors, it uses a single dual core 2 gigahertz CPU. I'll be putting that up against a Pentium D 2.8 gigahertz, and we'll compare which is faster in everyday use. So, the thought is if the G5 in this video is faster than the Xeon, then it certainly should be faster than its little brother, the Pentium D. Now, I'm not done collecting software to run all the tests. I have to find old versions of you know old software that'll run on a G5 and then find an identical PC version and run it on the Pentium D. There will be a part two in the near future with all the results but for now let's take a look at what I have so far. So first off let's check out Cinebench 11.5. As it runs you can see the G5 started to take the lead and in fact it finishes about 16 seconds sooner. However, that's not much of a difference. As you can see, it only picked up a fraction of a point, with the Pentium D scoring 0.76 points and the G5 scoring 0.77. Now, I found a copy of Bryce 7 for both. I'm using a couple of the supplied demo scenes to run these tests. In the first test, they seem to be neck and neck, with the G5 finishing about 8 seconds sooner. It's not much, but it's something. However, on the second, more complex scene, which required more anti-aliasing, there was more of a gap, but this time the Pentium D pulled ahead and finished about 37 seconds sooner than the G5. With Handbrake, although I use the same version, the Windows version shows its encoding status in a terminal window. Regardless, you'll see the Pentium D absolutely thrashes the G5 in this encoding test. The G5 rendered about 1 FPS slower on average and finished about an hour after the Pentium D. Now there's two ways that we can look at these results. The G5 at 2 GHz was powerful enough to mostly keep up with the Intel chip that was clocked 800 MHz higher. Or we could say that the Pentium D was a pile of garbage that had to be clocked far higher than its competition. You decide. Again, this is just sort of a preview. I'm still locating old software, and I'll be putting together more of a, a thorough video in the near future. I should also probably clean and touch up the thermal compound on the G5 to make it, you know, totally fair. This G5, after all, was stored in a basement for over 10 years. Now, all I did when I got it was slap some RAM and a hard drive in it. But maybe I'll, I'll, when I do that, I'll make a video of it, of, of you know, tearing it apart and cleaning it out. Uh, I got to pull the motherboard out and everything else because I want to. Uh, uh, there's a heat sink behind the motherboard I want to get to, so I'll make maybe I'll make a video about doing that. Either way, make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for that. Also, if you made it this far, if you could toss me a like uh, if you thought the video deserves it, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right, bye bye.